हेलो वेलकम एवरीवन इन दिस नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ बिल्डिंग सर्विसेज सो लेट अस स्टार्ट द टाइटल ऑफ टूडेज क्लास इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्लम्बिंग सिस्टम सी द नेम ऑफ द यूनिट इज प्लम्बिंग बट देयर इज लिटिल डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्लम्बिंग सिस्टम एंड प्लम्बिंग एक्चुअली प्लम्बिंग सिस्टम इंक्लूड्स प्लम्बिंग एज वेल एज सैनिटेशन वर्क एज वी विल गो इन दिस क्लास we will uh, surely understand these basic terms which may be appearing new to you so do not worry let us proceed this is our unit 1 in class 3 what are the different objectives of plumbing why we go for it why it is so important so the very first thing is that this is one of the essential part of every house or building why because it takes care of hygiene cleanliness aesthetics smell environment as well as sanitation so the knowledge of plumbing is very very important and if one have a good command over the subject then only we can go for the proper planning and design of the plumbing system these plumbing system can be designed in autocad also just like there are building drawings in autocad similarly there is a drawing of plumbing i have told you in the previous class there is mep mechanical electrical and plumbing mep drawing can be made in autocad all these three kinds of drawing in made is made in different layers of autocad if you want to see plumbing layer you have to off the mechanical and electrical then you will just see the plumbing layer of drawing so this is the objective and if we come to the budget of the plumbing you will be surprised to know that almost 8% of the total construction cost of a building is just marked for plumbing and sanitation work so what are the role of a plumber that he has to go through in the entire process the very first role will be the installation installation of what different appliances pipes fittings fixtures joints etc and after installing one has to check it whether it is operating by monitoring the entire plumbing system and if there is something required then he has to go for repair and after repair is done everything is successfully installed and repaired and then the building is ready to use and when the building is in its service life tab kya hota hai jab use karte hain to kuch saalon mein we have to regularly maintain this and after maintenance is required then we also do proper servicing at regular interval of time just like a automobile or a bike is required to go for servicing after certain months or years so the same case goes with this uh, the role different roles of a plumber so the installation has not to be done as per the experience of any layman there are certain rules and regulations that is being laid by the municipal authorities of certain different states and uh, union territories so accordingly that um, the plumber has to install the things and then servicing of plumbing is very very important for fittings and fixtures many of you may not be aware with fittings and fixtures kya hota hai so if you don't know we will see it in the next slide then comes the besides having a thorough understanding of the mechanics required for performing various tasks like installation repair maintenance and servicing plumber should be a troubleshooter yes troubleshooter means any problem he has to solve it and then also other qualities that is mentioned here so let us discuss what is fittings and fixtures what are the differences between fittings and fixtures all of you must have seen the different fittings and fixtures in your house but you may not be able to differentiate it right now without knowing the basic difference as the name suggests fixtures are those items which are fixed or attached at certain points in building and they are not usually removed when the buildings are sold just like water closet or a wash basin or some electrical sockets switches these things are fixed and they cannot be removed when you are going to sell the building fittings are those items which we uh, install at different places in our building and they can be removed very easily like uh, we can say carpets or some hanging decorations or mirror or uh, kitchen appliances 
curtains etc so this uh, entire difference has been written here in this slide you can see it and let us have a small activity to understand better water fittings and water fixtures so here you have a picture of inside bathroom and uh, here we have to classify which item belongs to fitting and which items belong to fixture so first of all let, let us take fixtures uh, this example of uh, water closet this is a fixture then comes this system also fixture this wash basin as you can see this is also fixture both these taps are fixtures then come this bath tub this is also fixtures same goes with these taps and then this uh, flush also and this window also is uh, fixed what else this is the curtain curtain comes into fitting hanger also comes into fitting mirror also comes into fittings these are toys soap cases and this a small wardrobe or mirror also comes into fittings we can remove them very easily so you must be well familiar now what is fitting and what is fixture let us come to the very important topic of plumbing cycle just like in the secondary education you must have studied different kinds of cycle like water cycle carbon cycle nitrogen cycle all these cycles are actually very very natural in the entire environment and everything gets recycled very efficiently but plumbing is actually an artificial work and how things are recycled that requires human intervention so let us understand what is plumbing cycle plumbing cycle refers to a mechanism through which water is taken from a source source means river or lake or reservoirs and then supplied to the users like us and when we use it the finally waste water is collected and recycled and it is then transferred to the source after proper treatment so this is very important hence it is therefore important to have regular and adequate water supply and a proper system for disposal of water this is the picture of plumbing cycle so let us start understanding it from here this source there are different natural sources of water available in our environment just like in dehradun there is a river which acts as a source and from there the water is supplied this is the supply supply to where water mains and storage tanks these are storage tanks or end tank there are different kinds of tanks you must have seen in the different community and from there the water is distributed to different users this is the users users like us or industries or schools colleges and this is the in the between there is distribution system and this distribution system requires piping networks piping network ke bina kaise jayega pani and that piping networks actually work under pressure dekhiye agar pani ko niche se upar leke jana hai to be require pressure from some uh, machine or fir some motor or fir some some dynamics is required to apply pressure to water so that it can go from down to up because this is not a spontaneous but when it goes to the users and there is plumbing fixtures they can there by plumbing fixtures like taps faucets or different things they can use it and after using that water doesn't remain potable potable water means that water which can be used then that water becomes waste water you can't throw waste water to any place that waste water has to be collected now the waste water is coming from top to down upar se niche aa raha hai waste water so there is no requirement of pressure this is very spontaneous so that water will come from users to the point of collection through piping networks and these piping networks work under gravity no pressure is required and gravity is everywhere so nothing uh, external source has to be applied and from collection the water is disposed 
how water is disposed through sanitary and storm sewers so there are two kinds of sewer sewer means nalya jo aap roads ke bagal mein dekhte hain sewer lines so there are two kinds of sewers first one is sanitary sewers sanitary sewer is that sewer which carries waste water from our mainly from our bathrooms and uh, sometimes from kitchen also urinals also etc a storm sewers carries mainly the water which is collected from the terrace due to the rain or uh, due to washing of the house etc or the animals or uh, clothes etc then these sanitary or and storm sewers carry the water to deep treatment plant there is one treatment plant that we visited last year for the industrial visits jal sansthan in dehradun and their water is treated also and from the point of disposal through sanitary and storm sewers water is sent for treatment and at treatment plant where the sewage plant and natural purification is done there are different systems like sedimentation filtration and uh, there are chlorination tanks different kinds of tanks are there and they treat the water waste water and make it uh, environmental friendly uh, collect the harmful uh, ingredients in it and stores it and dispose it safely and release the treated water back to the source so this was all about the plumbing cycle all right let us come to the basic definition what is plumbing if we understand this slide we will understand the plumbing system also so plumbing is actually the skill and art that is needed to transport water from the sources to the users and then to the treatment plants and finally supplying the treated waters to the users through a distribution system is known as plumbing basically it is uh, the entire plumbing cycle requires plumbing it is a system of pipe and fittings that carry water and what is sanitary work sanitary work refers to the carrying of waste water to the waste disposal system through plumbing fixtures and if we combine both these processes plumbing and sanitation work it become plumbing system so in our course we may use plumbing system sometimes or plumbing as a synonym also but don't get much more confused these all things are almost similar so no worry about that but just to let you inform in a better way i have mentioned everything here so plumbing system consists of pipe fittings and appliances used for water supply and drainage for example wash basin so here this is the example of a plumbing system plumbing system where plumbing is also there and sanitation work is also there so you must be able to see here a pipe this pipe carries potable water potable water from the source to the user our house and the that water comes through these uh, fixtures tap and faucet here we use the water so after using this water water doesn't remain uh, fit for reuse and that waste water is then transfer through this drain pipe and this again is sent to sewers for disposal so in this picture you can see one system is plumbing plumbing is supplying uh, potable water from the source to the users and sanitation work is carrying of the waste water from the users back to the treatment plant and then to the source so let us discuss something some basic elements of uh, plumbing system so first one uh, basic elements means what are being used in plumbing system basic elements are uh, there are pipes fixtures pipe can be of different uh, materials that we will discuss in a separate class galvanized iron ci uh, pre stress and many things then comes uh, soil pipes and fixtures these pipes are different then the natural water supply pipes there are two kinds of pipe water supply pipes that carry potable water and there is soil pipe soil pipes and fixtures carries waste water for sanitation 
then comes sanitary drainage system i have explained you and then comes rainwater drainage system what are the prerequisite before starting the work of plumbing so we must have uh, to make sure that uh, water supply system remains clean and potable and the well knowledge and uh, command over the subject of pipe fittings and fixtures if it is there then we can suggest some specifications and uh, we can understand better the what is the requirement of different buildings then comes the sanitary and drainage system which includes also rainwater drainage system and at the last but not the least is the plumbing drawing and their uses so you must be able to understand what is there in the drawing because drawing is entirely in a one sheet of paper and from there you must be able to understand what appliances has to be used and where it has to be used so this was all and in the last slide i have kept this uh, motto of our nation also the motto of father of nation mahatma gandhi as well as pm narendra modi uh, swachh bharat abhiyan and uh, the knowledge of plumbing system it has a very deep link with this swachh bharat abhiyan because entire sanitation and drainage is possible by better knowledge of plumbing sewer lines all these things because when you go on the road when you see in the rainy season especially in the case of red uh, dehradun you see many potholes and there are many places many drains which are choked and that leads to a situation where it appears like flood all over the city just uh, after having a few hours of rain that shows how inefficient the system has become whatever may be the fault but the knowledge is very very important and crucial so keep it up stay tuned and we will meet in the next class thank you